Hey there everybody. It's been a while. I've been kind of busy working on the car and just busy with life. I moved to a new house. Um, so I hadn't really had time to make the video. Um, before we actually go inside the car though, I want to make a few details. I want to point out a few details. Um, brand new headlights. Which, I have yet to clean that one, but... And that one needs to be screwed in just a little bit more. Because it's bothering me. <clears throat> um, let's see. It's been a while since I don't really remember what is different. I need to get new taillights soon. I figure if one's broken, then the other one, I might as well get both at the same time. Uh, let's see, had to replace all the bulbs in the tail lights and the headlights. I actually got bright headlights. Uh, alright, let's make it inside and I'll show off some details. It's been a while since I've made a video, so if I point out something that's, uh, that you've already seen, I apologize. Alright, well, we're already in the car. Uh, we've got our... And dash is and all this white stuff is the molding I've been working on. So this stuff will be covered in. This is basically just to fill the holes from the old vinyl, because the vinyl was doing some pretty crazy tricks to fill all these holes. So I'm gonna I filled it up with thermoplastic, which is a plastic you can heat up in uh, boiling boiling hot water. And then it'll, when it dries, it's uh, solid as a brick. Uh, I live in hot Texas weather, so I haven't seen it um, get mushy or anything. So we'll see from there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've been working on all that. Even got some down on the sides. Mostly, um, haven't really been doing much. Um, just cosmetic work. Uh, well, I call it cosmetic work, but I mean fixing up things that are already in the car. There's my fantastic, fabulous hole from the uh, cubby hole and the vent, which is currently in the house. I'm trying to get the old uh, felt off of the inside. Um, it's taking a while, and then once I get that done, then I'll put it back in for, you know, for now. The USB phone charger is installed. It's a pretty quick and uh, easy installation. It costs about five dollars to uh, to buy. You buy it, and it literally has a USB port on one end, a little relay box, and uh, positive and negative. And I've been wiring everything into a little uh, ATX power supply unit, which I got also for five dollars online. Let's go ahead and turn the car into accessory position. I believe it's an accessory, and show my power windows which that one needs a little bit of work so I can show you this one which works not the fastest but sure beats uh, having to crank the window yourself I just need to grease up the uh, the rods inside the window a little bit more and then won't have that problem of it being slow and stopping. Uh, that one, uh, the reason that one stopped in the middle was because it's uh, off the track and I need to basically rebuild the track, um, which is, I don't know how to do, but I'm going to learn. Headliner was going to be one of the things I was going to show you guys, but I couldn't get the damn thing to stay up. So I'll be pulling that one down and doing a brand new one. I pulled out my old black carpet. Um, I have a plan. Well, it wasn't old. I actually pulled out the gray carpet, put black carpet in. And then the gray car the black carpet, I didn't put it in properly, so it got kind of nasty and was ripping apart. So my plan is to install, or not install, but... Um, put spray bed liner in the floorboard of the car so if I ever have any mess in the car I can just spray some water there and then suck it up with a vacuum 
It'll also look pretty nice too. Should have a texture. So thinking about doing that with a headliner too, but I'll probably just get some vinyl and stretch it. Um, like I said, the dash is going to be covered in uh, foam after. Uh, that's why I put this on here to cover the holes. The dash is going to be covered in foam, and then uh, after that, it will we'll shave it down, make it soft, and then we'll put um, vinyl over that too, and over that cubby hole. The cubby hole is going to be redone vinyl. My cup holder and coin tray. There's the cup holders and the coin tray, which also has a little drop so it can just grab a coin or a few. Um, that one doesn't go all the way in. Oh, and I recently severed my finger, so that was last night actually, working on some plastic with the car and trying to attempt to cut it, which was stupid. And that's what I have. Um, cup holders, or a cup holder, which is going to be part of the template, and it's going to be part of the template with the um, with this unit, which wasn't under there. I'm going to be basically making a brand new unit that's going to go straight down from here, down, and we're going to use these as templates to have the additions, the map holder, uh, that's actually a coin holder down there as well, and the cup holder, an e-brake, and shifter. Not much room to work with in a 1986 Ford Escort. Um, I actually am going to go straight down from here because I removed the ashtray and lighter. Um, I don't see a point in having it. I don't smoke, and neither should you. <laughs> Anyways, um, I haven't finished installing the uh, the, un the unit on that door yet because not only is the track, uh, I need to fix the track, but having some problems with that clicker, uh, the switch. Um, <clears throat> not sure what else to point out. Um, not sure if I pointed out the LEDs. It's kind of bright but the LEDs at night will actually shine onto the seats. Speaking of the seats, um, new seat covers. They're temporary until I get the racing seats, which will be restitched to say rust Challenge and possibly have a cutie mark on it. I didn't close the door all the way. Um, so I think that's, uh, that's about it. But, um... Oh, and here's Pinky. Happy little Pinky, always catching some wind. Uh, oh, I was going to explain a few more ideas that I have under the hood here. Let me just pop the hood. I have two interesting ideas. Oh, I think it was two. There could be one. I've been researching some ideas here. Prop my hood up. Where's the hole? Okay. So I've been researching replacing car batteries with capacitors, and as cool as an idea that is, I think it'll work. My plan is to get a mini boost pack, like on a few videos on YouTube. If you just look up car mini boost pack, there's a guy that explains them and Talks about the uses, and they're just really cool. These vents do nothing to purpose the car to serve it. They just look cool, literally. There's no nothing there for them to do. They're not really for air at all. So my plan is to take the solar panels, put them underneath those, and wire them into the boost pack. Anyways, guys. Um, this is Rave signing out. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, bye.